We're getting there. Hey everybody! I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh yes it is. Welcome or welcome back. Oh yes indeed. Happy Friday to you! Oh, happy, 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 happy. It's the weekend. It is. And y'all look great today. You I just do. Have to say. Yes so, you do. I can just tell. I can I know. just tell. Oh yeah. Yeah so, you do. You look good. And it's nice to see you too. Yeah. And I'm happy it's the weekend. Me oh too. my gosh we're still in the. Of course we're still, still unpacking. unpacking and all that stuff. Yeah. And you can't. You know, you just can't get a lot done when you're working. Like, it's like I get home and then I'm like, okay, I gotta I have, think about dinner. I gotta think about. I've doing got this, five this, to this. about nine to work with, so I can do the yeah. entrepreneur's hours and work on the channel. Yes. Or I don't know. Well, that's true. Now we're we're trying to do videos again. You know, too. Know. So that takes up time. And we too, only had so. four hours a night to spare, and when we're moving, it took all of it. It did. So it did. It was nice to have a break from YouTube, but I'm happy we're back on YouTube too. It kind of even though was, it wasn't only a short stay. Like yeah, I how can I put? I kind of like allowed myself not to worry about making a video if that makes sense. Yeah. During the move, I'm yeah. like, no, you're gonna you're gonna go insane if you try to make yeah. a video. I made a lot of reassurance from people too, saying, "Oh yeah, like, get it. Don't worry about it. We'll be here when yeah. you get back." So yeah, so thanks. But yeah, thank you very much. And like, uh, let's see, it was uh, on oh the last Mondays with Mark. Um, I was like. I don't know. It was a lot of talking. I mean, we didn't do anything. We didn't do a project. Chatted. We didn't cook or anything. Yeah. It was just basically a chit chat video. And um, it was like, I don't know, 26 minutes, 27 minutes of me sitting there talking. And I was like, oh gosh. And I was debating whether or not to put it up it because. It was one of the more highly viewed. And it, yeah, it was with Marks so nice. That we've seen yeah. in a while. It's coming up to, Thank I think, you. 700. That's views. nice. Which very, tracks very nice. high for Mondays with for Mark, For Mondays too. with Mark, yeah, Yeah, that's it does. about one and a third, one and a half of what yeah. we often get. Well, I try to keep Mondays with Mark, like, I don't know, interact, like, we do stuff, you know, yeah. on Mondays with Mark. But, I mean, re I didn't I didn't have anything, and er we still don't have any, like, the studio, well, that's the next room. We have a few things to finish up out here. Like, like kitchen, bedroom, and yeah. then that'll and be. And then we're going to attack the, the room that we're going to yeah. set up, like, Kind of like a studio in and mm -hmm. stuff. I can't wait. I'm excited about yeah. that. Keep all the show shirts, t-shirts in there. So all, that all splits the, it out of the bedroom. All the props and wardrobe and yeah. makeup and wigs and all that stuff. All yeah. that jazz. We finally have a place for it. So it's really, really cool. But yeah. um, but we have we have a shopping haul tonight. We One do. of my favorites, I have to say. I enjoy a good haul. I, I do to too. Say. Watching them and doing them. Yeah. And uh, so we... Uh, I went to Walmart because we needed, well, you know, we need a lot of stuff for the new place. You and know? in a lot of different departments. In a lot of different stuff, departments. So. And I'm trying to, like, I don't know. I am I guess we're both in the same place right now where I'm, like, trying to determine, okay, wait. What do I need versus what do I want? I mean, we need furniture. We need, like, you know, things to hang on the wall, stuff like that. But is that a need or a want, you know? Well, well I like, you know, the food's definitely a need. Well, food is a need, food's yeah. Food's a need. And you can be a little extravagant if you like. Yeah. You know, we're, we're okay now. We can, we don't have to get Brand X. No, we can. I often do we, because I'm cheap as shit. But, but like, <laughs> when it comes to things, but, you know, we're, we have a wedding coming up. We yeah. had to dip into the wedding fund to, to move. move. It took so, it chewed up a lot of it. You know, too. we have to rebudget. We have our bills are higher now. So like I'm so struggling. Like yeah. I feel guilty every time I buy something. And I'm trying not to feel that way. And I don't want to put like everything on credit mm -hmm. because we have to see how things go with all the new bills and everything, you yeah. know? So I don't want to rack up all of my credit cards too. In a, yeah. So it's just an interesting place to be right now. But I do allow myself to go to Walmart. I have like a dedicated Walmart credit card. Like it's a mm -hmm. Walmart credit card that I use. So, and for some reason it seems like not as bad as using my other credit cards. I don't know why. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. they have a lower interest rate and if I have yeah. to just pay the monthly payment, it's low. Mm -hmm. um, I usually pay it off. So anyway, we'll see. I'm rambling on. So we went to Walmart. Mm -hmm. We got a bunch of stuff for the house we and did. I think we'll show that to you now. Mm -hmm. All right, I think 
I think everything's in place. I think so. I think so. <laughs> All right. Well, here is our Walmart shopping haul. What are we starting with? Let's start with food. Okay. Because some the of it food probably has to go back in the fridge. So. I think I separated everything. Nice bag, huh? <laughs> so. All right. You are the king yes, of this is food. Soup. So I did re up on some oh. soups. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this or not, but you know, everything being very, very expensive. So these are over four dollars now at Giant yeah. and they'd be ten for ten sometimes. Sometimes and they're yeah. not. Now at Walmart they're two dollars and nineteen cents. Better. So um that's my favorite one. And I got this one for you. Oh. Light chicken pot pie. Ooh. You I like to add stuff to prepared products like that. Yeah. Oh, there's more soup. Excuse me. I did. I really <laughs> upped, yeah. We were out. And so. for uh, me, I've been getting these Campbell's. They're a little bit more healthy. Less sodium, you know, um, and it's a good line of soups. I got the minestrone. Another progressive. Tortellini. Not as healthy, but it's still delicious. <laughs> and then butternut squash bisque. Yeah, this is a good one from them, too. This is a nice line they have. A lot of it's vegan, a lot of it's, you know, whatever, and the calories are lower, and like I said, the sodium is less in mm -hmm. these two. When, this is the last soup, I think, I promised. Yeah. <laughs> savory vegetable. Savory they were all, um, you know, a little over $2, so that was a good, um, that was a good price, I thought. Soy sauce, low sodium. Oh, yep, I got some low sodium soy because I'm going to be making some uh, pork fried rice tonight. Oh, yeah. wow, which this goes with. I got some corn mm -hmm. to go with it. These aren't food, but you eat them or take them. Yes. Supplements. Vitamins. I needed a, I ran out of, like, I think three of them last week. Um, so I got garlic and vitamin A. Mm -hmm. I'm not a multi-value vitamin. T I take, like, individual ones. I don't know why I always have been like that. I don't know. I don't either. I get <laughs> I buy enriched cereal, so it's two dollars, but it's a hundred percent of everything. Yeah, and it lasts the week. So. Yeah. Um, <gasps> K cups for our new Keurig. <laughs> right. Next time I'll order online, but I, I wanted to get some to have. Yeah, move this out of the way. Your yogurt. My yogurt. I hope did I get blue? Oh, vanilla. Okay. Vanilla. Cool. I love your Nutri-Grain bar. And you know why? Y'all know I live on these. I love Nutri-Grain bars. Yeah. Muffin mix. Well, I, you know, until we're settled, I wanted to get some, I got a couple mixy things because I wanted to make something, you know, some yeah. blueberry muffin mix. You know, it's easy. I don't have to make it from scratch. Boy, and this, I never heard of this before. It's, uh, they have like flavors now. Um, white rice, black beans, corn, and bell peppers all in one. Oh, that sounds good. In a boil, in a bag for a side dish, you know. Yeah. This isn't for the, the fried rice. I am making that with yeah. actual... Like rice, rice, you know what I'm saying? Some frozen meals. And we have a visitor coming. Too. Oh, he's walking this way. So I got you. Oh, yeah. You Beef picked teriyaki. that out. I picked out these. Because mm -hmm. you said, get some frozen things. Yeah, to have. It's too hard to cook right now. We still don't really know where everything is. <laughs> so I just pulled out a few different ones. Pizza. I love this from Main Cuisine. Too. This is delicious. If you see it, try it. This is a great little pizza for like three bucks. It's good. And... Classic Another lean macaroni and beef. Mm -hmm. This is a good one too. I like mm -hmm. this one too. Devour chicken cordon bleu mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. These ones are a little more high in calories, but they're they are delicious. They're, they're good. good. They hover around five hundred each, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like a lean cuisine is usually two to three. Yeah. And then yep, four eighty for this one. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And this is four twenty for this one. Tuna noodle casserole. Yeah. I don't know. Whichever one gets to it first wins. Yeah. Now, why would you put this in the oven? It takes 45 <laughs> minutes. It's seven in the microwave. I know. It's funny. I mean, it's not going to have a crispy, oven. crunchy top, but throw in the broiler. I should make this homemade sometime. I, I, I like it. I, I haven't had like it in years. Uh, noodle casserole. I do like that. Huh. I do. All right. Okay. Egg rolls. <gasps> Egg rolls. It's only five bucks. And Taipei's a good brand, so it's going to go with our fried rice tonight. <laughs> we'll make these in the air fryer. These turn out wonderful they in the air fryer. Frozen egg rolls are one of the success stories of the air fryer. Oh, I agree. They don't get messed up and misshapen. They don't get mushy, but they don't get greasy. Mm -hmm. And you don't miss it. It's not like when you bake them and it dries out. Yeah. Like, the air fryer is a little different, so... Yeah. All right. I think that's everything that's we can eat. That's all for the food? I think that's all the food. <gasps> okay. Now we can move on to the fun stuff. The <laughs> fun stuff. Okay. 
I'm just gonna work left to right here. All right, I have some stuff over here too. Whoops, I bumped you. We're trying to make room. See, we're still trying to make room. Did I bump you? There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, so yeah, these were on clearance, you know, so I got these. So these are black hollyhocks. I'm going to try to have them bloom in time for the wedding in a big pot. So we'll see. I don't know. Or we'll, we'll try. And then I thought this would be a great little project for Christmas. They're dahlias, but you can grow dahlias in pots. I think we'll do that maybe on Mondays with mm -hmm. Mark. I'm going to get the timing down on it because mm -hmm. you can kind of force them to maybe bloom in time yeah. for Christmas. And they're they're like the candy cane ones. So mm -hmm. I got those and they were half off. So this big bag of soil and I didn't mix. <laughs> well, I needed soil, which you'll see why in a minute. How many pounds is this? Hmm, I think it's a cubic foot, so it should probably be... It's one cubic foot, so I don't know how heavy. They sell it by the cubic <laughs> foot, not by but the weight. it is heavy. <laughs> okay. More things. Oh, my rugs for the bathroom. Rugs for the bathroom. So I got this. The cover's not too rug. bad. Like that, and then for the toilet, for around the toilet, one of these. I got black, and then for the the lid, lid cover brown. brown. So I um, you know, it'll all kind of work. Color blind, but I think it will match. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll look nice in there, and then we have everything accented in blue. So mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I didn't put it in there yet. <laughs> oh, what else do we have? We needed it. We didn't oh, have this to is get it. Meal. Prep food storage containers. Yes. Now we've been going back and forth with Tupperware for years. Get one set, lose three lids, it's useless. It's just taking up space. So oh. we're throwing out everything. Everything. And now we have a and, set. And we have a set. So this the, is a it Walmart won't be like here's a red lid to a, a pack a Tupperware that almost fits. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. Yes. People use it for meal preps, like, you meal know. Meal prep and storage. I like this. Um, but I like making up my meal. 25 pieces. There's like, you know, small, medium, and large ones in here. And I got some other ones to go with it, I think, in there. But they're in one of the bags yeah. somewhere. Well, we'll just keep moving. Okay. Um, Panels. Yes, I got the curtains. These are going to go in the um, kitchen. I did the other ones. I only had one panel yeah. of. I and they, these windows are so big, y'all. I got to get curtains for nine windows. Mm -hmm. um, the ones behind us were in the living room. You may even remember those. You might remember these as a backdrop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they look nice in here. I like the colors. But I got two sets of these, and my plan is to like, hopefully, after we're done filming, just the other side. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do all the pride. Like I'm gonna hang these all that, and then I'll show you what they look like. That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> Some flexible bins. Can never have too many bins. I know. Well, these go, uh, I have a little shelf in the bathroom that sits next to the sink. And these will fit on those shelves, you know, mm -hmm. so. Dry erase board. Yes! I can't, I'm so lost without, without a dry erase board. We don't board. know what we need to eat. No. We don't know addresses, phone numbers. Nothing, because we had a big dry erase board at the old place, and that's where I would always write down the shopping list. Yeah, if we, we need something, we you just write it down. Yeah. And it didn't make it here, unless we still haven't found it yet, so I bought another one and took it out. I meant to tell you this. Mm -hmm. It's magnetic. Oh. So we might be able to even hang one maybe behind the stove. Spice rack. To yes, put to the... put those on, <laughs> yeah. Um, see. So we'll see how that goes. More storage to replace the old stuff. These are round. The round ones, yeah. Yeah. And so. some smaller flex bins. Yeah. These are the little ones that go, like, see? Mm -hmm. See how all the colors are coming together? Uh, wow, well, it's like probably every color of the rainbow, but. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> something will match. Something will. Uh -huh. I think that's all I got over That's here. all you have over there? Yeah. There should. Oh, no, this. Here it is. Yeah. I got a flameless pillar candle that's going to hang in the wall scones in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I wanted it to be battery operated you know yeah, i'm not interested in starting okay, a fire so i do have stuff on my side here okay. that i have to grab all right so okay i'll start over here so we've got that isn't that nice looking this is going to be for my herb garden in the kitchen mm -hmm. for the live herbs yeah yeah so parsley basil rosemary they'll all go in here and they'll sit on top of our um uh 
microwave stand, yeah. you know. And they'll so. get enough light from there. Oh, they do. It's very bright in here, usually. It is. Well, it yes. is. Um, okay, look. It's not as heavy as you think. It's not concrete. No, it's plastic. <laughs> it's plastic. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this is a planter um, I got for Fernando. Yeah. Our palm. Our big palm. He's in a terracotta pot now, but... You said he's probably ready to upgrade. Oh yeah, he won't get he any won't bigger. Get any he bigger. needs to. He needs to have a bigger pot. But I just didn't do. Well, you know, repotting those that it's hard. That's a two man job. It's a big job so. to do. He's a big boy, and I got him. He was like three oh, inches tall. tall. That was so sweet. I know how they've grown. Yes. So this will look nice, and it's going in the corner of the living room. I'll show you when we're done because I'm. I I need everybody's opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I can get. So this is another one of those things that I am like torn on. So we got one of these bathroom set to go over the door. back of the commode. Um, one of those okay. things. Yeah. And I'm not. If you remember the one in our last place, it was very similar to this. Yeah. Um, it was set up it's... behind the fridge, and then it's just we have a lot of bathroom stuff. We have a cabinet in there, and then we have two built-ins. Yeah. Um. But otherwise, having things accessible right at your hand, you have to dig and look for everything, pretty much. So, I and like I, the idea that this will be visible I mean, storage. It's cheap. Well, I like these ones are. I don't know. Like, okay, so this is what I struggle with. So there was another one there that was made of wood mm -hmm. that obviously looks a lot nicer, but it also was like four times the cost. Mm -hmm. um, this was on sale. I got it for thirty, thirty-one, thirty-one, seventy-seven. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't know, I think it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, for now, like, I guess this was a good purchase we instead of 150, it. and we could always maybe later get a nicer one. Yeah, I'm not particularly concerned about okay. the quality of whether it's wood or metal or whatever. I prefer silver to wood myself. Okay, like the color. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll keep it then. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then this thing I think I have to get up to show you this. Okay. <laughs> So, well, you moment, can explain please. the situation with the clothes. Okay. So, we have a lot of clothes, right? We just did a bunch of laundry that had been waiting right before we moved. So, I took it all to the laundromat, and then we started moving out of the apartment. So, after we were here a couple days, I went to go pick it up. And, holy crap, we had 140 pounds of clothes. <laughs> so, which nobody needs. What are we? No, the Kardashians? So, we're thinning out right at the moment. Anything with a burn hole in it is getting tossed or cut yeah. or ripped. So we're thinning out shirts we're going to keep, shirts we're going to throw away, um, stuff that could maybe be donated. And this is hopefully how we'll store it. I hope you can see it. We have one oh, rack. it up. We have one rack there. now, and it's dying under the weight. So Yeah, we I have nowhere to put our clothes. I, we just, there's just no put. closet space in there, and I, I don't know. And then, so... I did buy a really inexpensive garment rack that's just, it's like, uh, it's, it's we have things like, up. there's kitty litter box bracing it on one yeah. side. And, then. and so I just broke down and bought this. I think this will be a space saver. I think we'll be able to keep folded clothes on the shelves, mm -hmm. socks in the little bins. Because we don't even have like, we don't have bedroom furniture either. Like we no. don't have like a dresser or anything like that. No. So. And then, and of course, that's more expensive than something mm -hmm. like this. This was ninety eight dollars. Marked down. That was not bad for. The, I've been shopping for them on like, yeah. on Amazon. Says and you stuff. need no tools. Uh huh. It looks like it's one of those kind of snap together ones. I always end up needing a screwdriver, even if it said you don't. Yeah. Something always needs a Phillips head. So that was. So that was the organizer there. I'm excited for the organizer to be in place. Yeah, I am too. Where we have the other one, I think, is where this would go too. Um, Again, thinning the herd. Yeah, it's as, in the corner as as of can. the it's in a bedroom. Corner. Like for every three shirts I keep, I throw away one. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, whether it's a shirt for the show or not, if it's stained or if it's burnt stained, or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. I just, we'll just save everything. And not that we're going to immediately replace those either. No. Because we don't need to. We're trying to thin out. Like, yeah, we're trying to thin it out. We don't need to buy more. Right? I know. We've had discussions like that before. We did, yeah. Where it's like, you know what? We have too much stuff. Let's move. So we did. Mm -hmm. We uh, did. So we did. And then, too, you know, there's, like, I don't know. I get sentimental about T-shirts. You know, oh, I bought this there, whatever, and it has rips in it and stuff. Well, so. I kept that one. You're, okay. There was one that he has rips everywhere. They're rips, not burns. And it looks like 
punk rock meets homeless, yeah. Yeah. kind of. So that's probably the one I've had the longest. Yeah, that should be saved. If not, it's in my the bag. zombie shirt. Yeah. Yes. It should be okay. <laughs> if it's not, it's in the bag, which I didn't take anywhere yet. Okay. So that's. And then the good stuff, you know, that we're getting rid of, um, taking it to work. We're going to be opening a, a, like a clothes closet type thing um, mm -hmm. in the in the autumn at work, where people can come pick out. Clothes, like a, what do you call those? Clothes closet? Clo like a... Clothing bank? Something like a clothing bank type clothing of a bank. thing, you know, yeah. for people who may need uh, stuff. So a lot of the clothes will be going there, yeah. too. So It's a great idea to have that there, too. Other drug and alcohol providers, you have clients that may be going to court. Yeah. Maybe a quarter of them, and they have nothing, they have nothing to, wear to wear that looks, except a long t-shirt down to their knees and jeans. And yeah. that's just all they own, and that's fine. But in court, there's a different expectation yeah. You know, and then the holidays coming in and, and yeah. kids' clothes, things like that. So yeah. that'll be a nice little thing to get off the ground. Mm -hmm. um, so is that it? That is it. Except I all these bags. That is all these it. reusable bags. Okay, so the damage for everything that we uh, bought today was three hundred twenty-nine dollars and seventy-seven cents. Oh, lovely. I know it could be worse. I charged it. I mean, oh, on your card. And the Walmart card, yeah. Okay, but see, it's in your name. So like, once we're married, it'll be my problem. Yeah, because you you are inheriting sixty thousand dollars worth of student um, loan debt. Yeah, we didn't even discuss that yet. Well, it was going to happen whether I mentioned it or not. So. <laughs> <laughs> I figure I'll keep some of these things to myself till the twenty third <laughs> right. of October. <laughs> But no, that was a good for a three hundred dollars. I mean, it was a lot of stuff. I mean, this was a hundred dollars alone. I yeah, mean, but but so. I mean, especially shopping, even if it is at Walmart, yeah. during shortages and stuff like that. Mm. You know, the the big stores have survived some of it. I think, like Walmart, with their shelves bare. There, there were a lot of their shelves were bare, but I think they were in the process of putting stuff out because there were boxes stacked in all the aisles. There's usually you know. pallets in all the. We yeah. go in the evening, which yeah. is when they stock. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, Walmart mm -hmm. had more. This would have been probably $150 worth of groceries at Giant. So, oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, I have to say their prices are less expensive four, than everywhere else. $439, four thirty nine. Four thirty nine at Giant for yeah. that. When it's on sale, it's the price it used to be. I know. That's so. pretty. And you know those Rowell soups that I like? Yeah. They're, they're uh, almost $7 at Giant, and they did have them at Walmart, and they were four sixty nine or four sixty eight yeah. or however. I don't want to put you know the small businesses out of business, no. but if you don't have the things I need, where am I supposed to go? I know that's that's another yeah. thing too, but I don't know. I think I don't know. Walmart, it was less. The the cost across the board for everything yeah. was much less. Everywhere else, giant, even Big Lots. I went to Big Lots the other That's day. That's which surprised me. I'm wow. Like, I was shocked at their prices. Yeah. They went up. Their prices, it used to be able to go there like you would go to like, well, you know, like Dollar General or Family Dollar. Big yeah. Lots was like maybe a little step up from that. Yeah, they had some furniture, they definitely. Were very yeah, inexpensive. Products. Now yeah. they have all these exclusive lines. Like their furniture is Broy Hill. You know, their rugs are Broy Hill exclusively at Big Lots. And they're very expensive. I, w I, I was surprised. If you've been to our Big Lots, you'll understand it's not an expensive, high up place to shop. It's regular folks because yeah. you can get groceries and food and, yeah they have a little grocery and they section. always have like highly discounted things that they don't know what they're worth right like you'll get a whole box of pop tarts for like a dollar for a, a buck you know you but know? It not but not anymore not. i don't know um if it's like that i think they're part of big lots odd lots Ollie's. uh job lots no, I, think, is local. I think they're all part of that chain mm -hmm. i think it's a nationwide chain i don't know i know they're here um, we've had a few around here that open closed and closed opened, closed opened yeah. so well i think they're making a mistake with what they're doing now um because they were going around and putting the prices up on everything and i had grabbed a can of soup at mm -hmm. big lots and it was marked uh, a dollar for Campbell's and I go, oh, this is great. So I got a couple of them and she goes, those are going to ring up at $2 and 19 cents. And I'm like, with the price, I'm like, the price tag says a dollar on it. She's like, well, I'm in the process of raising all the prices. I was just appalled. I'm like, yeah. oh, I, you know what? Just forget it. Like, you can't do that. If it's marked a price, they have to give it to you for that price. It's a sticker on it. Yeah. 
they had stickers on all their stuff at Big Lots, you know? Mm -hmm. So, oh gosh, I'm sorry. We're like rambling away. Well, no, it's all part of a haul. It's this all part of the spirit of shopping. Yeah, and, and it is. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming to see our haul. Oh, yes. To see what yes. we got. We'll keep you posted as things are assembled. Yeah, I'm going to, um, my plan is to like, um, do every, like, repot Fernando, hang the curtains, do all that, and then show you what it looks like afterwards. I'm hoping yeah. it'll be in this video, so. Mm -hmm. That'll be next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please um, do subscribe, like, share, yes. uh, hit the bell up top. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and go live. You can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, our email address, the contact info, all that's below in the description. Mm -hmm. Thank you again. And we'll be in touch with you soon. Oh, yes. The weekend is upon us. You know what that means. <laughs> Shantopolis. Uh, yes, and uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, new videos coming out, too. Well, we have a lot of plans for new videos yeah. coming out, including the um, all the stuff for the wedding, too. Mm -hmm. We're going to be starting that yeah. next week, so that's pretty exciting, too. So, thank you again for spending your time with us. You have a fantastic mm -hmm. weekend, everybody. Remember, above all else, stay positive! Bye! Ciao, everybody. <laughs>